Okay, so we're back continuing the conversation about getting into the spirit of embracing structure in the month of throughout the month of June and what that looks like for each of us. So, um, Aaron, you didn't get to share the last time that we were sharing. So I'm mm -hmm. curious what what does that bring up for you? And is there something that comes to the surface specifically that um, could support you looking through the lens of embracing structure throughout your month? Yeah, so what came to mind initially is that I consider myself like really organized with things, but then I'm really thrown off during seasons of transition, which is what I'm currently in. So when it was embracing structure, how do we do that when things are changing around us and we're trying to like tweak kind of what used to work last month is not going to work this month. And so that idea of being flexible, but still maintaining a sense of structure is what's coming to mind. Like even it could be as simple as like, okay, now that it's June, right? Kids aren't in school. So the morning routine that I had last month, you know, might not work this month for people or, you know, and we have to be aware of that the people around us, their schedules are changing too. So what used to work before maybe doesn't work for them now. So, mm -hmm. which I think is very fitting for just the change of season or, you know, what's on people's plates that were, was not the reality a few months ago. Yeah. Well, especially because like you mentioned summer, <laughs> you, you know, we're talking about like, oh, what the plans are like, oh, this is kind of a weekend where we get to be more at home versus in the weeks ahead for the month, you see that your calendar is uh, filled up with mm -hmm. places to go and things to, that you're already committed to. And you said, well, and that's summer. And right, like that's a transition in itself, you know, whether it's that you have kids in school or, you know, you, you're maybe your teacher and you're now in the summer mode. Um, it's, it is a change in the season, which does affect, you know, our schedule. Same thing with like daylight savings. We go through those transitions of like readjusting and making sure that, you know, we're kind of pivoting. So I love, I love the thought about like, well, what was I doing before that I know right off the bat, you know, that's already changed because of the schedule shifts that mm -hmm. um, we can plan for. You know, I haven't even really thought about it that way for myself because I do have kids home now. I'm thinking about, okay, their morning routine looks different because I want them to sleep in. <laughs> like I want them to sleep in. I'm encouraging them to go back and rest because um, those are the morning hours where I feel like I can get a lot more done because the house is still quiet where mm -hmm. versus, you know, when I was in it during the school year, it was get them going, get them out and then get back into my routine of like how I was building structure for my work. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely a, a dance and a, a balance uh, of like finding that harmony to say, you know, when there's solid commitments that someone's relying on me, someone, you know, I've committed to this work meeting or this um, networking thing. I think this is where um, really making sure that we're anchored in why we're saying yes to something and how mm -hmm. much the priority is for us to then, you know, change that yes to be a no and really be intentional with that. Like embracing structure to me, that's a big part of it is making sure that we know why we're saying no or why we're saying yes so that we can really stand in that when things do shift. We're like, hey, I already committed to this. This is my boundary. And I know boundaries is a big thing for you, focusing on that too. So, you know, those structural things that we can do to support ourselves in the growth and evolution along the transition, I think is a big piece of that, that I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching the growth and experiencing it for myself to, you know, document it. So this is my nod to say, make sure that you're using planning pages, journals, um, you know, trackers, what do you mm -hmm. want to focus on for the structure in your life and how you can, you know, really see the proof that you're, in, you're evolving and you're transitioning um, in this season of your life, whatever that is for, for you. So um, that's my encouragement, document it, 
and um, be able to reflect to celebrate the progress that you're making because it doesn't feel always like you're making progress and you are even when they're tiptoe baby steps and um, embracing the structure to actually continue building that momentum mm -hmm. is going to overall support so yeah yeah and with a month too it's like a three to four week time frame so realizing that too of okay where do I want to be three four weeks from now what's realistic right because I think like big picture right maybe knowing oh this would be awesome if this were the case but then being like okay but how do I get there <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah realistic expectations what's realistic in three to four weeks mm -hmm. and celebrating that so yeah yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Erin.